Welcome to the February issue of the Digital Director. This issue is called Marketing with an ROI. It's never been more difficult to market your business, nor has it been more important to be able to market your business. But there have been hundreds of articles written about marketing. This is not going to regurgitate those because we're dealing with marketing with ROI, return on investment. This is the very first time anyone has ever created an article to teach you how to create your marketing, promote your services with ROI. Before we go any further, let's confirm that we all know what we mean by the phrase marketing. Marketing is not advertising. Marketing and advertising are symbiotic. Advertising is a part of marketing as is public relations, online, search engine optimization, your web and outreach and aftercare. But marketing is about your brand, who you are, the services that you offer, the products that you offer, and the way in which you provide them. In other words, are you a value provider, a middle level provider, or are you the boutique provider? That's marketing. And until we all understand that, we can't get down to making sure we get a return on investment for your marketing dollar. For example, Marketing is going to tell you that 55% of your families appreciate X, Y, or Z about your business. Now, advertising is intended for you to have a paid message placed that communicates that. What good is trying to make sure that you are the boutique operator and then try to talk about price because your families are in price focused. As a boutique operator, they're experience focused. Otherwise, your ROI will be a negative. Keep in mind when we talk about ROI, that's an investment term. And therefore, advertising and marketing expense shouldn't be thought of as an expense. It is an investment. It's an investment in your business. Because if you don't get the message out of how you want to be perceived by your families to make your name and reputation front of mind, well, you're just wasting that money. And that ROI will be an LOI, a loss on investment. This is exactly why church bulletin placements are worthless. They're not investments. They're not advertising. They're not marketing. They're a donation, it's a gratuity. Do you really think somebody sees your one inch blurb in a church bulletin and says, ah, that's the funeral home we're gonna start going to? No, all they say is, huh, look at these people, they gave us 25 bucks. That's why the virtual world is so very important. See, with the virtual world, we can track your return on investment. Picture, if you will, you had an online blog and you said to people, if you want to read more of this blog, click here. Well, that click gets recorded. We can see exactly how many families clicked. And then from that, we can see how many families appreciated what your words and your message were. That starts helping us understand and calculate R-O-I. Picture, if you will, this online blog brings in three extra calls in the course of a year. Well, three extra calls times your average revenue per call. That might be $20,000 of added revenue. Other than your cost of goods and a little bit for labor, everything else is profit. So you could bring in $20,000 and maybe have 15 to 20% cost associated with those additional calls. That means 80% of that additional revenue is profit. Now, 
Can you spell ROI? Wait, don't stop there. Because if funeral homes sell for a multiple of their profit, and you add an extra $15,000 to your bottom line, and maybe your funeral home sells for five times profit, that means that that extra $15,000 of revenue increases your value by $75,000. Now, that's ROI. Marketing is not that difficult. We just have to know what the data is. The National Funeral Directors Association publishes every year their Consumer Awareness Survey. This survey tells us the number one reason that families choose funeral homes. Would you like to know what that is? It's previous service. Shh, don't tell anyone. We don't want your competitor to know. Previous service. So what should you do for all those families that you have worked with in the past? Should you reach out to them? Communicate with them? Hold events for them? Educate them? Or ignore them? Keep chasing your competitors' families. Do you get it now? Spend your money where you're going to get the highest ROI. And the highest ROI is on the families that you've served previously. You want to keep them, and you want to keep that son of a gun from down the block from getting them. The number two reason why families choose a funeral home is location. This is a time to make sure that your business is located properly and your facility is up to date. Parking is good. Seating is good. You have accommodations for the audibly impaired. And this is important because what worked 20 years ago doesn't work today. You don't want to talk about buying new pews. Pews, spelled P-E-W-S, are pew, P-U. They don't work for the future. If your building burns down, do not replace the pews. Buy good chairs. And while we're talking about marketing, no invention has made marketing easier than the internet. Remember all the times your dad and your granddad wanted to have a reporter come out to see the funeral home, to talk about something, to talk about an issue, to witness an aftercare event, and the newspaper reporters were just too busy. Well, thanks to the internet, you can be that reporter. You can publish these stories without your local newspaper. You can do it for free. Tell me, how good is an ROI on free? I don't want to spend a lot of time on the web and websites, but websites are not about brochureware. It's not like the brochure that you printed up 30 years ago and have each page on the web. Now you want to have bilateral communication. Talk to your families, communicate with them. Use video, movement, woo, sound. You can do that. It's not expensive. It just takes caring. So care because the ROI on the internet is the highest of anything you can do. One of the most important reasons why people choose a funeral home is because they perceive they have a relationship with that funeral home. We need to make sure that your families know you and your staff. And the best way to do that is aftercare and outreach events. Aftercare and outreach events in many business are referred to as guerrilla marketing because it's hand to hand, you shaking their hand. Aftercare and outreach events are powerful. It allows the community to meet you and your staff. And trust me on this, when people know you, price goes out the window. They don't focus on price when they have reputation and they perceive that you know them and you care about them. So how much of an investment should you be prepared to make each year? 
Well, somewhere between 4% and 6% of your revenue is how much you should be spending on total marketing. Four to 6%. So if you're grossing a million dollars of revenue, that's somewhere between 40 and 60,000. Spend about half of that generating pre-need and pre-need leads. Spend half of that on all the other methodology of marketing. That will give you a positive return on investment. So if you're spending this amount of money and case count is not changing, or worse, it's dropping, what does that tell you? You don't have to be a world-class consultant to be able to figure out that the marketing efforts you're making are wrong. Change it, try something new. And if you're not sure what to do, pick up the phone and call or send an email. I wanna help you get the best ROI on your investment in marketing. Just do it.